G'day everyone, Adam here going overland. Let me ask you this. Is your forward drive always the same weight? Mine never is. Depending on where we're going, how long we're going. <coughs> Could be just going to pick the kids up from school. Could be going on a six months adventure. So how do you get your spring rate right the first time? Well, there's only one solution for that. And that's fitting a set of airbags. Let's get into this week's video. So getting your spring rate right the first time is really important and it's really hard to guess how much weight your vehicle's going to be holding uh, when it's empty and, or fully loaded and you know all the variants that you have in between. For those of you who've got a keen eye, you probably noticed on our Outback Adventure the patrol was sitting low in the back. It just wasn't sitting the way it normally sits and that's because a couple months previously we um, put a hole in one of our original airbags. Uh, probably my fault running at too much pressure in what that bag was designed to run and um, We tried our best to, to take as much weight out of the car as we could and um, Still wasn't enough. It still sat really low on the back and you felt it on um, On like not just the little bumps, but the big bumps it how much it would wallow around and it just didn't ride like it used to ride Oh, let us say hey, dopey I'm working here. What are you doing? All right, so it's a bit cramped under here. Hey, Brendan, how you going, buddy? So it's a bit cramped under here. So first thing we're gonna do is take the um, sway bars off and we'll take the shockies off on the rear. That'll give us a bit of room and that'll also let the, um, the axle move up and down a lot more freely, get it out of the way. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on, bud. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> hello. Yeah, hello, buddy. Oh yes, oh yes, hello. No <laughs> licking. All right, buddy. <laughs> all right, all right, enough, enough. Okay, stop. Okay, stop, stop. Oh, um, oh, not that, yeah. Please stop. Please stop. Okay, thanks, buddy. Okay, thanks for your help, buddy. But, I, oh, watch your head. Okay, I got this, all right. I got this. It's okay. It's okay. He's, good. He's helping. He's helping. So the beauty of airbags is it allows you to run a much softer coil for when you're forward driving and on rough roads and then have the ability to make it a stiffer coil rate uh, by pumping up the airbags and giving you that on-road handling that you really need when you're towing. Uh, we usually, you know, we go to these remote places where you're on the, on the highway for, you know, 90% of the drive. Uh, you're up with windy roads. Um, could be sh it could be really tight roads too, and you need your vehicle to perform like a car. But then when you get to the, the off-road section, you need it to, to flex like a soft forward drive should. Uh, you don't want a stiff spring. Uh, you don't want the jarring to go through the vehicle and, and you know damage the chassis. You want the suspension to soften the ride and to um, to sort of float. So you know having that ability to with the flexibility of the airbag is um, it, there's no other way to do it. You can't have the best of everything without the airbag. You can't have good on-road performance and then soft off-road flexibility without an airbag. All right, so I've got, oh, excuse me. I've got both the shocks off. Uh, the other side wasn't as bad and the uh, sway bar's completely disconnected. So we'll tighten up these spring clamps and we'll jack the car up and uh, uh, jack stands under the chassis and then lower the axle and that'll give us the uh, clearance to get the coil out you can actually see the tear in the old bag and I'm not talking about Larissa I don't make any comments not very nice So this is where you gotta watch. You gotta watch your brake line. 
because if you uh, lower your diff too much, it might not be long enough. So they see the axle moving away from the chassis. I don't even need the, uh, the spring clamps of these new, new jack. So this is the maximum sort of droop that this, uh, this suspension will do, which is pretty impressive. Uh, it'll actually do a bit more, I think, but I don't know. But it looks good. <laughs> it's like a big lift kit in it. So you can see here, the spring is free from the, uh, from the cradle up there, so I can get it out. Same with this side. It's actually got enough clearance to... Uh, to pop this one out but you can see here how much shorter this spring is here because of the spring clamp so that way you don't have to jack your car up as high and you can see here the brake line we're getting close to its max limit but we're pretty good there all right so i just got the old uh airline yet from the old one oh now i can get this coil out there we go a little bit heavy, not too bad. So full disclosure, uh, we didn't pay for these airbags. I was actually online ordering them and I got the quote back and I could get back to them about the quote. Uh, so I hit them up online on Instagram and they, um, they actually rang me and said, look, they like what we represent and who we are and what we do. Um, they're gonna give, them, give us these airbags for free with no strings attached. No strings attached. They didn't say you've got to have a video out in this amount of time and it's got to be positive and all this stuff. So that's a great brand that know their quality of gear. But they're just willing to go, hey, you know what? Have this, no strings attached. You know, do what you do. That's fantastic. And you know, for me, um, our channel is our honesty and uh, gear that I want to run. And the old airbags are a different brand. And um, these ones have got a bit of a different setup and it's a lot more uh, reliable with how the uh, airlines run and with these new bags that cover the airbags all right, they're a lot less prone to holes like we've got in the original ones and they can hold more pressure these ones can actually hold up to 60 psi so these covers just help hold that airbag together and also protect it against you know things like rocks and even the sharpness of your cores if you get a bit of rust on them all right, there you go. You can see them side by side. And um, the beauty of the airbag kit is they have different heights. So depending on the lift in your car, we've got a three inch lift in the patrol. They have a bag that suits that lift. This old kit uh, from another company, you have to have all these spaces in there. And you can see this top one was never sitting in there, right? It's chewed the bits. You have to have two on the bottom here to join them together to get the three inch lift, which sort of, once again, you can see it's how it's been rubbing on the coil. Never sitting right. All right, now we've got everything disassembled. Now the fun starts putting it all back together with all the new stuff. So uh, first thing first, get the bag inside a little protective case. So just push that in there and it locks in. Little little red cap, they give you one. I thought I'd maybe, maybe I'd drop one when I was opening the box up. So they only give you one. I didn't know what it was at first, actually. Just suck the air out. There we go. Now the bag's nice and loose. There we go. That's got it. There we go. That little plug definitely helps. Now, a real important step is don't forget to run your line through both your, um, or any of your rubber spring seats. These spring seats stop all the springs clunking around so much, so it's not metal on metal. Just push it back onto that fitting. And it locks in there. Such a good fitting it is. I should be able to just sit it on there and pull it through. One hand. I should. Spring seat, all the exits. 
Okay, let's just line out. And then uh, make sure your coil's sitting right. So, I'll just show you quickly. The coil has to be sitting right. There's a little space. Oh, how's the easiest way to show you guys this? There is a little bit on the cap. It's down here on this one. You see this bottom bit here? Just there, the lip there. Oh, that's where this coil's got to sit. So that's how you know how to get the coil in the right spot. So it's pretty simple, like I said. Nothing technical. Just use your logic. Google it, go on now, YouTube. There's plenty of these videos out there how to install these things. All right, we got both coils in, both the airbags are in, the airlines are in. Uh, that's just matter of slowly jacking up the rear axle and getting everything in alignment before we put all the weight on the springs. So, let's get that done. Oh, who said men can't multitask? Hey, okay. two coils in and jacking it up with my foot. Now, I'm just going to check the, uh, the airline's not getting kinked. Alright, All right, so while the car's jacked up, I just uh, run the airlines to where they need to go. We've already got these old holes uh, in the car, but uh, you can buy a little bracket from Airbag Man, which is good. Because then you can mount it anywhere, it's not a fiddly little hole like that. You mount it on your bull bar, your bumper bar, inside your cab. We've already had these holes here for years, so I'm going to just use the same holes. Um, so yeah, it's not that daunting. It's pretty easy. Basically, once you've got your length, you cut it the way you want. And this is such a good fitting. You just push this on, and it just clamps in there, and it won't. you can't just pull it out then. Alright, that's pretty much everything on, uh, as far as the airbags go. All done. So, uh, I'm going to jack up the axle, uh, remove the jack stands, lower the car, take those... Uh, those cool compressors out. Um, put the shocks back in and the uh, sway goes back on. Put some air in these airbags and uh, take it for a test drive. Shop absorbers in there. <laughs> oh, you look sick. You look pale. You look disgusting. No. Maybe it's from all the cookies you ate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, traveling with kids? Traveling He's with kids. He's gonna stop <laughs> at random places. Cars. The car handle's so good now, Joe's getting car seat. Right. So, yeah, really happy the airbags performed really well all weekend. Mm -hmm. Felt really soft forward driving because we dropped them down to 5 psi. Back on the um, the bitumen heading home, mountain pass, very windy. Uh, got them on 30 psi, and the car is stiff, handles really well. Mm. And Joe's a testament to that because he's now car sick. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, big shout out to Airbag Man, you guys are legends for uh, supporting our channel. We have gone commercial free, so that means my revenue from YouTube's not there like it used to be. And I don't mind, I'm showing you guys things that I want to show you guys. Uh, there's less pressure and you know, I get to pick and choose some of the um, sponsors that want to work with us. We're going to put this back together, go for a test drive and we'll see you guys next week. We're probably going to be our tag along meet and greet weekend. Don't know how I'm going to film that, don't know how it's going to look on camera, but uh, should be lots of fun. Thanks guys, cheers for that. Are you both going down a hill? <laughs> 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 <laughs>